deals. That is a splash here. Billionaire and Degwai family expands its empire with new deals. AIG for Harry buys letters in portfolio. Past moves triggered or targeted high growth sectors. And it is broken down for you here. Uh, sources, which is a company statement here. NCBA shareholding uh, fast chartered securities raise its stake in the lender to 14.9%. And uh, you can see how it's broken down for you. There, fast chartered NK DNM manage, Management, Brookshire Limited, West Point nominees, Yana, Yana Investments, and others. And uh, this is how the empire is expanding. And T Pharma said for record 44 billion shillings bonus payout on Monday. They will be smiling all the way to the banks to get their bonuses. And this is all about the small holder. Uh, tea farmers where the Kenya Tea Development Agency, Agency Holdings Limited KTDA is expected to release the money popularly known as a bonus to an estimated 600,000 shillings 600,000 farmers not shillings affiliated to its 54 factories over the next two weeks beginning Monday you can read the rest of the details inside the business daily and workers are struggling in spite of minimum wage rise let me try and expand that on this on the ticker there. A rally in prices of basic household items, including food, has left workers in a worse financial position in spite of a 12% minimum wage increase last year to help them cope with the high cost of living. This story continues on page six of the Business Daily. And banks cut lending as defaults increase to 586. Commercial banks loan book has shrunk for the first time in 20 months pointing to slotted insurance of new loans as defaults rose to 586.2 billion shillings at the end of July. This story continues on page 6 uh, on the company's seg segment. And Cop Bank overtakes KCB at Baos. Cooperative Bank of Kenya has overtaken KCB Group to become the second most valuable lender on the Nairobi Securities Exchange as the latter's share price continue to fall. You can read all about it inside the Business Daily as well. Let's cross over to Uganda, where the government should own all land. This is what top official is saying here. Uh, it's a proposal, and the story continues on page four. All matters land. Museveni quizzes Alupo, Nabanja on two billion shillings UN trip. And also on the edge, locals want district head to roll over neglected bridges or bridge. And you can see one of the affected border border rider there trying to cross that particular bridge there. And China has its relations with Uganda at anniversary. You can read all about it inside the Daily Monitor. If you're waking up in Uganda, that is this morning. And also you have a scoop that comes in handy for you every Friday where you can get the latest scoop as far as the entertainment is concerned. David Lutalo, I am not here to play. This is what he says. And of course you can see him in action as well, crooning his stuff. That is the Daily Monitor in Tanzania. We have the citizen how Tanzania can rip big through Afcon. Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda stand to benefit in a big way through their hosting of the 2027 Africa Cup of Nations finals with analysts urging the countries not to not the countries not to waste the opportunity right I think there's a typo there not the West it is not to waste the opportunity you can follow the story inside the citizen and uh, I hope uh, this is actually a dream studio there that maybe will be built in Tanzania. And you can follow the story on page uh, two of Tanzania. Envoy touts innovation cooperation to attain agro goals. And you can read all about it inside the Tanzanian publication today. What Tanzania's first hematology clinic means. Uh, you can read all the details inside the citizen. Four decades of WASH services in Tanzania. The acronym WASH is intimately familiar with the citizens of Tanzania. You can, you can read all about that inside the latest publication today. In Rwanda, what next? As 25% of Valley Dam's four livestock lie idle, that is the abiding question. Natural storage, that is lax, makes 99.96% of the total storage. And you have a story on page four of the New Times today. Rwanda raises concerns over DR Congo arming FDLR, indigenous armed groups. That is another story you want to follow inside the New Times in Rwanda. And you can see 
Rwanda's ambassador to the United Nations, Clever Vagatete, addressing UN Security Council on the situation in eastern DR Congo on Thursday. And Rwanda's space agency officials discusses priorities as body steps up awareness efforts. All that is tucked away on page three of the New Times. Explain now also understanding PSC hearings and what happens next is what also you need to read in today's publication. Finally, we can see the East African and is giving it a fourth stab. Remember now we have a seven year term that is presidential term in, in Rwanda. Rwanda's President Paul Kagame has said he will run for a fourth term in 2024 with critics putting him in club of African big men who cling on to power. This story continues on page 10 of the East African this morning. And why Somalia once at miss drew down halted. Now there are actually qualms about now pulling out the troops from Somalia and, and uh, that was to be done in phases ending December 24th next year that is in 2024 and uh, maybe they need to go back to the table right to the organizing table and uh, see if this is the wisest of decision that has been made so far and uh, we have Somalia calling on the concerned governments there as the African Union to make sure that they look at this particular decision you can follow the story inside the East African Bruto Kagame six deals with the US investors that is the story that you want to follow on page four and five of the East African all right let's look at today's editorial cartoon and it's all about the celebration of the AFCON and you can see the posy of goons there seated at the lounge there uh, Kenya Uganda Tanzania to host AFCON 2027 is what we have a TV screen showing there and it's saying gentlemen the real hard work begins now and they are toasting there this maybe is being depicted as people are waiting and saying this is our time to eat